Rising concerns this morning about Omicron as LA County sees a spike in new COVID cases. Now health officials are stepping up efforts to slow the spread. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at Grand Park in downtown LA with new information in the fight against the pandemic. Cara, we could use it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Good morning. We're going to talk about some changes here at Grand Park for New Year's Eve. But first, let's get to what's new overnight from Moderna. The company is saying new data suggests their booster is effective at battling the Omicron variant. Take a look at a tweet that was sent out by the company. It says that in a small lab story, a lab study rather, people who got boosted had 37 times the number of neutralizing antibodies as those who'd only gotten the first two doses. An increased booster dosage, which is not authorized, pushed up antibody levels even further, but health experts don't think that's needed for protection. Earlier this month, Pfizer released similar results regarding their boosters showing a 25% increase in neutralizing antibodies. All right, let's go now to the latest COVID-19 stats from LA County. The Department of Public Health says the number of daily cases has more than tripled during the last seven days from 1,123 cases last Monday to more than 3,500 Sunday. Now, fortunately, hospitalizations have not surged like that. The big worry, though, is the holiday period ahead. Also new this morning, New Zealand officials confirm a man has died from a form of heart inflammation they believe is linked to a Pfizer vaccination, but add the benefits of the vaccine continue to far outweigh such a risk, adding that inflammation can also be caused by the virus. U.S. health leaders say vaccinations and boosters are the country's best defense against this evolving virus. If you're not vaccinated, I would say travel is really not a great idea because you are in a very vulnerable place now with Omicron. And back here live, the popular New Year's Eve live event that takes place in Grab Park behind us now will now go on without a live audience. This is all going to be streamed, the countdown, the performances, DeMarco and Suzanne, to try and keep things a little safer for folks here in the Southland. All right, Carissa, before you go, why did Moderna cut the dosage of its vaccine for the booster? Yeah, some folks don't realize this, but it's literally cut in half. And the reason they did that was twofold. One, to reduce the side effects that are associated with the vaccine. And two, because they thought that was all that was really needed to, to boost its effectiveness. And this new preliminary data that was released this morning seems to suggest that is true. There will be some continuing studies, though, to try and confirm that. It's good to know. I told you I got the uh, Moderna shot, so I'm happy to hear that news, but it felt like the first one. You know, I still felt the same pain uh, in the arm there. Cara, thank you very much for that update. <laughs>